Well, hello and welcome to the special segment called MC Pro Select Stock of the Day. I'm your host, Nikhil Chandani, and in this segment, like always, we bring to you fundamentally strong investment stock ideas. Today, we are going to be talking about Relax of Fair, a company which was established back in 1984 and the largest footwear, perhaps, manufacturer in India. It commands a prominent position amongst the top five most top 500 most valuable companies and is acclaimed with brands like including Relaxo, Sparks, Flight and Bahamas, which have achieved a leadership status within their respective categories. Now, why does MC Pro like this company? A couple of reasons out there. The first one is the company is regaining lost market share. For second consecutive quarter, the company maintains solid double-digit volume growth in Q1. This growth not only signifies a successful rebound in the market share, but also reflects the company's strategic response to the correction in the raw material prices. By implementing price reduction, the company has effectively realigned its pricing strategy with that of comp competition, resulting in a notable recovery in sales volume. Now, let's understand the second reason out there, where the margins are only expected to improve going forward. In FY 2023, the company experienced margins that were approximately 500 basis points lower as compared to that of its historical averages. This was primarily attributed to the impact of elevated raw material price and operating deleverage. However, there is an anticipation now, or let's just say expectation, that the margin will see a positive trajectory and return to historical levels by the end of fiscal year 2025. Uh, more reasons out there, the third one is enhancing distribution presence, where the company is strategically focusing on expanding its reach within the underpenetrated markets such as that of South and West India. This initiative involves the establishment of exclusive business stores and ramping up e-commerce presence to booth sales. Let's understand other reason out there where organized players continue to benefit. The growing preference for branded products is anticipated to drive in an increase in the market share for organized player. Furthermore, the proposed implementation of IBS, uh, beg your pardon, BIS instead, that's the Bureau of Indian Standards, norm is expected to play a pivotal role in uh, fastening the transition towards the organized players altogether. Next uh, trigger point for this company is the re return ratio, which is only expected to improve. Given the kind of capacity utilization, which is expected to improve from quarter levels of around 55 to 60 percent that we saw in June as the volumes picked up. This dual effect of rising volumes combined with the improved margins collectively contribute to a favorable projection for the company, both on operational as well as financial performance. Now, the last point, let's look at the valuation for this one, right? Well, the stock is currently trading now at a price to earning ratio of around 60 times the projected earning for the fiscal year 2025. The valuation places its proximity to the historical averages observed over the median term. Well, with this, it's a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in.